We're here in southern France with scientists fishing for the noises created by earthquakes under the sea. And for that, they need far more than fishing nets. This is a hydrophone that helps us listen to earthquakes. It can record many other noises under the ocean's waters, the wind that creates waves, sea mammals, icebergs cracking. But we are interested in the noises created by earthquakes. Once in the water, these high-tech seismologists' ears are programmed to drift away with deep currents. We send different programming parameters to the device via radio signals. Thanks to an internal clock and a pressure transducer, we can tell it to go to a certain depth, fix the length of the mission, or decide how long we can keep on recording data. Each time they record a significant earthquake sound, the hydrophones autonomously rise to the surface and send the data by satellite. At the end of their mission, they can be recovered and reprogrammed for a new one. But what's inside these floating computers? To find out, we need to head back to dry land. The devices are a masterpiece of electronic and hydraulic research. The main challenge was to distinguish earthquake sounds in an extremely noisy underwater environment. The noise in the ocean is so tremendous. There are all kinds of ships, there are uh, oil companies prospecting for oil, there are whales that sing their own song, there are all kinds of, of uh, noise sources. The storms make, make a lot of noise. We are looking for these earthquakes in the noise. So a lot of our work has been to develop the intelligence, it's artificial intelligence actually, that allows this computer to find out if there is an earthquake or if it is just a whale call. The technology has many potential uses. It could also be used for marine mammal research or even to locate black boxes after a plane crash at sea. But first and foremost, scientists are working on concrete projects on earthquake research. 600 of these devices scattered around the world's oceans in the framework of international cooperation would give us a much more accurate imaging of the Earth's interior than we have now, especially in the southern hemisphere, where there are more oceans and where we lack data. 